I love covering technical audio topics, but it's even better when those concepts could be applied and actually make a difference in a mix. So let's cover three practical ways to improve your vocal production right now. First off, let's talk about achieving super clean, high-pass filtering. In the last video we did, we talked about how EQ introduces significant distortion to a signal. But in short, we could use an audio editor like Isotope RX to introduce aggressive filters without introducing the majority of this distortion. Whereas an EQ uses filters that are easier on your computer so that we could use them in real time, RX and other editors use FFT filters when processing or thousands of divisions in the audio. Processing these divisions results in much more accurate filtering, which lowers distortion in the long run. So, say I want to cut out the low end of the vocal up to the fundamental frequency. I could use a high-pass filter via an EQ, or I could use RX, highlight the range below the fundamental, attenuate it, and then import this cleaned up version into the session for subsequent processing. Now it's a little tedious for sure, but once you get the hang of it, this is an awesome way to clean up a vocal while introducing less distortion than with a traditional EQ. So let's listen to our vocal processed with identical gain changes, one with EQ and one with RX editing. Notice the significant difference in clarity. I'll never know what I've never known let it go float on the ocean I'll never know what I've never known Let it go float on the ocean Next, let's cover amplifying formants for intelligibility. Now if you want to improve a vocal's intelligibility, vocal formants are a good thing to understand. They're clusters of frequencies that determine the perception of a particular vowel. Each vowel has three formants, one in the low mid-range, one in the mid-range, and one in the high mid-range. So for example, the average frequency of formants for the A sound, like in the word cat, is 730 Hz, 1090 Hz, and 2440 Hz for males. For females, it's 850 Hz, 1220 Hz, and 2810 Hz, so it's a little higher in frequency. Additionally, 3 kHz in the range around it is perceived as being louder than other ranges, due to the shape of our ears, the circumference of our eardrums, etc. So if we amplify the range around this third formant, we can improve both intelligibility and make the vocal sound louder, increasing the perception of overall clarity. Now I've suggested amplifying this range on vocals a few times, but I hope that this solidifies that things aren't completely subjective and that there's a solid argument behind why amplifying 3 kHz improves the clarity. So let's listen to the vocal, and then the same vocal with 3 kHz amplified by 3 dB, but gain compensated so that their peaks match, and notice how the latter sounds clearer. I'll never know what I've never known Let it go float on the ocean I'll never know what I've never known Let it go float on the ocean Real quick. If you want to get your mixes to sound like professional songs, we have a mixing membership called the Sage Audio Membership, where you get access to Sage Audio University for in-depth mixing and mastering courses, private one-on-one -on -one mentorship, unlimited personalized mixing feedback, and 50 free mastered songs per year. Go to sageaudio.com or use the link in the description. Next up, let's cover compression, transience, and intelligibility. Now, a few videos back, I showed some graphics illustrating how compressors affect dynamics and a song's rhythm. But let's apply these ideas to vocals. So the attack time of a compressor is an instant. It gradually attenuates the signal over the full period of its set time. Meanwhile, the release only initiates after the signal falls below the threshold, meaning that if we don't set it properly, other transients can become entangled and compressed, even if they wouldn't have caused compression if processed independently. So in short, if we want the initial transient of a vowel or a consonant to cut through, we need to set the attack slightly longer, around 30 milliseconds. Meanwhile, we should set the release as short as possible without causing distortion, so about 50 milliseconds. We can then balance the level of the transient and the level of the compressed signal by adjusting the wet gain. I could increase the wet gain to bring the vocal forward while leaving the transient intact, or I could decrease the wet gain and compensate with the output gain to emphasize the transient. So let's listen to these settings before we move into the second half of this idea. I'll never know what I've never known Let it go float on the ocean I'll never know what I've never known 
Let it go, float on the ocean. Last up, let's cover compression, transience, and intelligibility, part two. So if we combine this compression concept with the ideas about formants, we have a practical way to increase vocal intelligibility by using parallel processing. I'll set up a send from the vocal and insert a linear phase EQ and a compressor on the corresponding auxiliary track. With the EQ, I'll isolate the third formant, so roughly 2 to 5 kilohertz, and then compress it with the settings that I just described. That is a roughly 20 millisecond attack, 50 millisecond release, and the wet signal blended in until it maximizes intelligibility. With these settings, the transient comes through, helping with pronunciation. Meanwhile, the third formant's quieter details are amplified, reducing the effect of masking and helping the listener better understand the vowel. Then, I could blend the aux track in with the vocal until it sounds balanced with a little extra clarity and intelligibility. Let's take a listen to the effect being blended in. I'll never know what I've never known Let it go float on the ocean I'll never know what I've never known Let it go float on the ocean as I mentioned earlier, if you want to get your mixes to sound like professional songs, we have a mixing membership called the Sage Audio Membership, where you get access to Sage Audio University for in-depth mixing and mastering courses, private one-on-one -on -one mentorship, unlimited personalized mixing feedback, and 50 free mastered songs per year. Go to sageaudio.com or use the link in the description.